I shrivel up and die. Ha 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 So I got a small portion of whole grain pasta. Uh, and I got some sardines in here. So tomorrow is going to be my test day where I'm going to be conducting the same scan I took like two weeks ago or so and then I'm going to be seeing if I've, I'm starting to get results and I need to be able to analyze and see if what I'm doing is working. It feels like it is. I think I've lost a bit of fat in the areas where it is and I'm hoping that I will also have kept or maintained muscle mass but I think I should have increased it a little bit according to the scan anyway. I'm hoping my legs will have done and my arms feel smaller and I think the reason why you know, a lot of guys they fall in this trap where by you don't want to lose fat because it makes you feel like you're getting smaller. Because I'm cutting out carbohydrates, I'm reducing, I've reduced carbohydrates, muscles aren't so full, the body fat over the muscle, it makes your arms feel smaller. But you know, it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a trick, it's like an optical illusion. You know, you've got your shirt on, you look bigger, you look bulkier, but you take your shirt off and it, it's you know, it's not looking so pleasing then. I, know, I think I've been guilty of that before, and it is a nice feeling. I think I've you know, I did go through a phase where I actually didn't care about getting fat. I wanted to just reach a certain weight. I wanted to get to 17 stone. That was my goal. I didn't care how I got there. I didn't care if I put on fat or, or whatever. But, you know, goals change. We change our minds. Like, I remember being the other way around. And I lost so much weight. And I got so skinny. And it, like, I didn't notice it at the time. I was happy with what I was doing. I was doing a lot of running. And then I saw a photo somebody had taken of me while I was running a race. And I thought, oh my God, I look so skinny. And then I stepped on the scales. And then I was like... 13 and a half stone or something like that. I thought, no, this is too light. This is too light for me. Especially after, you know, prior to that, I'd done a lot of time in the gym putting on weight. And to lose it all then for me was like, oh, no, 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 I need to stop this. So, you know, I think against that type of physique or that type of training, it's good, very healthy for you. But, you know, I wanted to have that, you know, bit of exercise. Um, so, I'm hoping to lose body fat. I, I get a little, 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 little bit more ripped, maintain strength, maintain muscle mass, or even increase muscle mass. I believe it can be done. I believe I can do it. And, yeah, and I should look look tighter, feel a bit tighter as well. And it creates that kind of reverse optical illusion there whereby you actually, you know, you look, you, you've got a smaller waist, but the, the muscle mass is still there at top. And I'm quite fortunate in the fact that my muscle, my body fat does tend to go around this region. It kind of sits around on the back by there. <laughs> That's where it seems to live. And on the sides, uh, and then the bits I've noticed, and they are slowly starting to, Start to shrivel up and die. <laughs> so about today's workout, we had a 30 minute walk this morning. Nice and gentle, it's relaxing. This evening, uh, well later on this afternoon, I'm gonna be doing a chest day. So it's uh, bench presses, gonna be incline presses, gonna be dips, gonna be dumbbell flies in there as well. Now, normally I superset chest and back and that's what I've been doing lately throughout this program. But I've decided I'm gonna split the days, so I'm gonna do chest, day and then I'm going to be back on another day. Now the main reason for this, tomorrow I've got to do uh, a circuit training session for work and I've actually got to do the circuit training myself. So there's going to be a lot of pushing involved with that. So that means then tomorrow then, and I'm not going to be able to video that workout. So that means tomorrow then, to give you guys a workout, I'll be doing the back workout separately. So it, it works out well. It would be quite good for me actually anyway because it allows me to just kind of focus on that one bit. And with the setup I got here, it's great. Sometimes trying to do the, the exact superset that I want to do can be a bit awkward. For, so for example, if I was in the gym, I'd happily do a bench press superseted with the pull-up. Because I can just do my bench press, walk over the pull-up bar, do a set of pull-ups. But here, I can't really do that because my whole setup is in the same place. The bench actually gets in the way and to try and get and then back in the same place. It's just a bit of a faff, so I all think the exercise is right. So I've been changing the exercise around a little bit um, to what I like. I mean, you know, these excuses, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for the amount of equipment I've got. I know not everyone's in the same position as me. But, um, you know, it'll enable me just to focus on the exercise as well. Because this is I'm changing the camera position around as well. It's just a bit of a faff in between sets sometimes. So, yeah, this will be good, I think. So I can just focus on the one exercise. I can get the right camera position and just keep the camera there. Yeah, all right. So I have my food, my food now. This is the second meal of the day. So every day, guys, I'm having four or five meals usually, and then usually two or three protein shakes. And then in between, I'm having lots of fruit, at least one apple, at least three bananas, at least one satsuma, usually one kiwi as well. And then there's other 
things that you know that I'll show you in the meals when they when, when I'm showing you them when I'm eating them. Okay, meal number three of the day, and my carbohydrates. I've chosen yam. Got yam there. Protein is the tuna. I got some peppers and I got some pumpkin seeds there as well. Chest workout is going to be a pyramid going up and then a pyramid going down. Bench press strip strip set, which is intensity technique. So gradually build the weight up, uh, doing working sets, and then for the final set, it's a gigantic drop set. Basically, you strip the bar off, minimal rest. Works better when you've got a, like a, a gym partner with you because they can strip the bar for you, so you can just uh, quickly go into the next set. Next exercise is going to be the dumbbell incline bench. exercises about how you how they execute as well so you might have noticed in that set then as I was extending upwards I reached the top I would kind of turn my arms in like that squeeze the chest it's a much better contraction That was a great workout, I really enjoyed that. Um, starting to kind of feel the love for it all again now. Um, protein shake, this one now I'm starting to make these ones with water. Uh, I'm having one with milk, but the rest of them with water just to keep, to lower the calories a little bit. 
I like, I like the milk wings, it just tastes delicious. So in here I've got uh, whey protein, one scoop, water, not that much, creatine, HMB, I think I put creatine in there. I was supposed to put creatine, a tiny bit of citrulline in as well. There's also half a banana, and then you have a shower, and then have some food. A while ago I did a video saying, Sweet potatoes are the best thing to eat before training to get a real good pump. I'll link that video above me there, but I'm going to have to say that's number two. Yams are definitely the best thing to eat before training. I, I guess mixed up with all the other things as well, but definitely <laughs> yams and citrine. It's crazy. Got dinner now, and right, okay, don't judge me. Pizza, blame the girlfriend. All right, that was not my choice. I was forced to eat that, <laughs> but I'm not going to turn it down. Looks delicious. Minced beef. Beetroot, peppers, tomatoes, lettuce, and lettuce under there, yams, my carbohydrates, and then two slices of this very thin pizza. You okay? Do you want cheese? Um. Do you want some cheese? I'll have a, t a tiny bit, a tiny bit of cheese, yeah. So that was a big trick. <laughs> <laughs> and some dessert, kiwis. Now, final thing now before bed, pot of cottage cheese. It's got like 35 grams of protein in Pretty good, and that's only 200 calories so one of the better things we fought better I think. I'm gonna bid you good night. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the morning. Bye bye.